Hello, and welcome to my channel, The Purple Poncho. I'm Carolyn, and today I'm going to show you how to make the beautiful herringbone half double crochet stitch. This is made using a variation of the half double crochet along with the basic chain stitch. The simple design works up quickly and is easy to memorize the one row repeat. For patterns on this stitch, go to thepurpleponcho.com and search for the herringbone half double crochet stitch, or they will be listed in the description box below this video. Thank you for being here and let's get crocheting. To make this beautiful herringbone stitch, you will need some yarn. I'm using Red Heart with Love, a size 4 worsted weight, in the color corn silk. You can use any yarn in any weight that you like. I'm also using my Furls size H crochet hook and you'll need some scissors. To begin, make a slip knot and place it on your hook. The stitch multiple is uh, any multiple that you like. Uh, follow the pattern uh, instructions and then add an extra chain at the end. So let's see. I'll do eight. And for the herringbone half double crochet stitch, yarn over your hook and count back to the third chain from your hook. The chain or the loop on your hook does not count as a chain. So we're going to count back one, two, three. Insert your hook in that third chain from your hook. Yarn over and pull up a loop. Three loops on your hook and we're going to take this this loop that's on our hook and we're going to bring it through the next loop on your hook. So we make like a little knot or a chain right there at the base of our stitch and then yarn over and pull through two to complete the stitch. So that counts as a herringbone half double crochet stitch and then the chain two on the end also counts as a herringbone half double crochet stitch. So to make another one yarn over, insert in the next chain and then yarn over pull through and then pull through again that first loop on your hook and careful not to split your yarn and then yarn over, pull through two to finish the stitch. So now we have three. Insert, yarn over, pull through, and pull through the loop on your hook. Two loops on your hook, yarn over, pull through two. Make another one, yarn over, insert, and the next stitch, yarn over, pull through. Continue to pull through the first loop on your hook two loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through those two stitches or loops. And we continue this all the way across our chain. My last stitch, insert, pull up, pull through the loop on our hook and yarn over, pull through two. So here's row one, complete. To make another row, chain two and turn your work. The chain two will count as your first stitch right here. So we're going to skip the first one and we're going to yarn over and start in the second stitch. So insert pull up pull through, yarn over, pull through two. So there's our first two stitches. And we're going to continue the same thing across the row again. And for the herringbone pattern to appear, you need to complete two rows. And when you make this little chain or you pull through that first loop, it slants your stitch and that that's what makes it 
different than the regular half double crochet stitch. Okay, so we're at the end and we have our chain two down here. There's one, two chains. So we need to go into that top of that chain there. So bring it up. And it can get a little bit hidden down there, so be sure and look for that. And make sure, if you're not sure of your, if you need to go in there or not, you can go ahead and count your stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's see. Now, there's another way that you can uh, do the the turning and the and the ends of the rows. Um, the way I'm showing you, you're skipping the first one and going into the second one, like I said before, and you're just going to repeat this to whatever size, whatever dimensions that your pattern calls for. But if you want to make the edge have a little bit of a of a more of a exaggerated point, I have another example on this one here. So you can see how this one makes like a little bump or ridge and I like the way this looks as well. So to achieve that it's the same exact stitch. When you come to your end of your row you're going to do exactly the same. I have two stitches left. So here's one, and then here's my last stitch. Okay, there's a little V on top. Just gonna go right in there. Okay, and then to make it, like I said, go like that, chain one and turn. And then that's not gonna count as a stitch. So we're gonna go into that very first stitch that we were skipping previously in the other example. And that's the only difference. So chain one and then work directly in that first stitch. And then continue down your row. Same as before. See how it makes a little ridge. And again, it takes two rows to make the, the pretty herringbone pattern. And it's a reversible fabric. That neat. And if you're wondering about this yarn, it's also Red Heart with Love, and the color is light gray. All right, so those are just two variations. I have another sample here, a little bit bigger than the one I started with, to show you the difference. Okay, so this is the chain two and turn, and skip the first stitch. Okay, and then this is the, the gray one is a chain one and turn and don't skip the first stitch. So just a little variation there for you. Okay. I hope you enjoyed this video tutorial on the herringbone half double crochet stitch and learned a lot. Thank you for being here and crocheting with me today. Please subscribe to my YouTube channel and visit my website at thepurpleponcho.com for more crochet, knit, and Tunisian crochet patterns. Have a wonderful day.